Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is so exciting because it's going to be a reading vlog for The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. I've heard so many good things about this book and I know that people, I know it's a series and I know that people love the series and the TV show just came out. I have a sticker on mine that says, now an original series on Prime Video. So I'm going to read these first and then watch the show. But I figured I would take you guys along with me. I love watching reading vlogs for books that I want to read because I can hear everyone's thoughts and like, I don't know, they're just really cool and fun. So I thought I would do that. I don't know if this video is going to have all three books in it or not. Who knows? I may not like the book. I hope I like the book, but who knows? It could be a three-parter. All three could be in this video. I don't know. We're just going to see. But... Let's just get right into it because I really want to start this book. So I just finished chapter one and I already love it. It's such just like a spring, summer, beachy vibe. And I just, I love that so much. She just got to the beach house and she met up with the boys. And I can already tell that I'm gonna like the rest of this book. So I think I'm gonna read one more chapter before I have to go to work. Um, and yeah, I will probably update you guys tomorrow on how far I am and what I'm feeling about it so far. Okay, so it is the next day and I am on page 125, which is chapter 22. And guys, I love this book so much already. It is just the cutest book ever. It gives off the best summer vibes and I just love how well it flows. I love how big the text is in this book. I personally like big text in a book. It just, it's easier to read for me. But yeah, the book is just so cute. It gives off the best summer vibes. If you're gonna read this book, now would be the perfect time to start it because there's three books. So if you wanna read all of them, start it now because summer's coming up and I don't know, I just love it so much. I love Conrad, but yeah, I will update you guys when I read a little bit more. Sorry my hair is like soaking wet right now, but I finished the summer I turned pretty and guys, this was the best five star book. I I read a majority of this book within 12 hours. Like last night, I think I was up until like almost 2 a.m. reading and then as soon as I woke up at like 9 30 this morning I, I just kept reading and I finished it. It's just it is such a good book. I it's such a lightweighted happy just beachy summer vibe book and it's so easy to read. I think I said earlier that the text is really big in this book which I really like because it's easy to fly through. Um, but yeah, I just, I love this book so much. But last night I was like, okay, well, I'm going to finish this book either tonight or tomorrow. And I want to start the second one. So I immediately bought the second book on Amazon and paid extra for it to get here this morning so that I would have it in time to read it. So when I woke up, it was already on my front porch. Um, but is this not like the cutest book you've ever seen? The shells and like the leaves and stuff, they're textured. So like they, they like pop out of the cover. I don't know how to explain that, but so cute. I will say, I don't like that these don't match. So I tried to go back on Amazon to see if you could buy just the first book um, with like the covers to match this and you can't. You can buy them all three in a bundle. It was like $27 on Amazon. You can buy all three in a bundle to where they look like this and they match on the sides and everything. 
but I didn't do that because I didn't know if I was gonna like the first book or not. Um, but for some reason, you can't buy the first book to match the second and third books. You can buy the second and third books separately that look like this, but not this one. You can only buy the first one by itself with the show version. Um, so it, I don't know, so weird. It kind of bothers me, but they both are cute on the sides. This is gonna look so cute on my bookshelf. Um, I'm excited to start this one. I mean, this one. I'm so excited to start this one. I'm gonna start it in like five minutes and I will update you guys once I get a little bit into it. I am literally less, or I'm about one page into this book and my mouth is already like, I'm not gonna go into detail because I don't wanna give out spoilers, but wow. If you know, you know. Okay, so I feel like I've done a really bad job at updating y'all on the second book because I feel like the last time I said anything, I was literally like done with the first chapter and I'm now on chapter 40, which is page 252. But guys, I really, really love this book too so far. Um, it's definitely not like as beachy and summery, like it doesn't have the same vibes as the first book as much. But they still go to the beach house. Um, it's still a really good book. I like the plot. Um, it's a little sad here and there. Um, I think I talked about how after the first chapter, I was just like, and my tears, there were like tears in my eyes. But such a good book too. I think I'm gonna finish it tonight. I have like maybe four or five chapters left. I don't have a lot. Like I'm definitely gonna finish it when I get home from work tonight. Um, but I did order the third book on Amazon that will be here tomorrow morning. So I will be able to start reading then. And yeah, I will update you guys when I'm done with this book tonight. So my final update on It's Not Summer Without You. I finished this book yesterday. This book was just so good, just like the first one. I really enjoyed this book. It wasn't as like summery beach vibes as the first one because in the first book, they're at the beach the entire book. Like it, everything takes place at the beach. This one, they start at home in whatever state they live in. I honestly could not tell you. And then they end up going to the beach because I don't wanna like give out spoilers, but like Conrad basically runs away from college and he ends up going to the beach house. So they go there, stuff unfolds there. I do not know why I'm like fidgeting with scissors right now. Oh my God. Anyway, but this book was still so, so cute. And I actually just, I filmed myself um, opening, I ordered this on Amazon, the third book, We'll Always Have Summer. I filmed myself, um, like unboxing this one for a different video, my like book shopping and book haul video. But this one just came in literally like 30 minutes ago. I got it on Amazon and I'm going to start reading it today. So hopefully I'm done with it by like Friday. Today's Wednesday. So hopefully I'm done by Friday so that I can get my reading vlog up on Saturday. But yeah, this book, I'm so excited for this too. The cover is so cute. Um, I think this one, Okay, yeah, they're like the exact same thickness. So I should finish this one just as quickly, but yeah, I will update you guys when I get a little bit into this one.
So I'm like a fourth of the way through this book and it's really good just like the other two books. Um, definitely not as like summery vibes and because they're not at the beach house yet in this one. They're just like at college um, but it's still really good. I like the storyline. It does bounce back and forth a lot more than the other books I feel like but still a really entertaining story. Um, some stuff went down in the first couple of chapters and I was just like oh my gosh and then I just got to another part to where it was just kind of crazy but so far I really like it I'm about a quarter of the way through and I'm just gonna keep on reading okay so I finished the last book in the series and guys it was just such a good series it's such a i feel like it may have been a couple of years too young for me but at the same time like it was just the best series well not the best series i've ever read but it was up there like i'd honestly give the whole series five stars i do think that the books went like downhill in ratings i guess like one was the best, three was the worst, even though it wasn't bad at all. The first one had just like the best summer vibes and like beachy vibes. And then summer two uh, was like a little bit summer vibes, but they weren't at the beach house the whole time. And then book three, they weren't really at the beach house at all. But overall, it was a really easy couple of books to read. Um, I literally flew through them. Like some books I read in two days, maybe a day and a half. Um, so it's some good books to just like lay outside or like have your windows open and reading um, because they're just so easy to read. But yeah, I highly encourage you guys to read the series if you have not. So if you have, let me know down below what you thought about the series. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you later.